here we are at NAB 2024 with Ula. and uh, we're at Tentacle Sync. And my question is, I love Tentacle Sync. I use them all the time, as you know. I was wondering why I can't just turn on my camera, capture a video, and have the audio from Tentacle Sync, which is 32-bit flow, amazing, rather than just like some average iPhone audio. Love iPhone, we love you guys, but audio is not really there. So how do we do this? I, I have my time code already rolling, so I can show you here. I have the Tentacle Sync, and we're rolling time code and it's live and it's wired to your yes and we're, so, we're yeah. wired here so what Eula just showed me is I need to go to the app store get the black magic camera app yeah black magic design has just released last October this new app and it features the option to sync the time code with our devices in the Bluetooth range uh, for that it's just required to turn on the Bluetooth option okay. you need to go to the settings and you scroll down to accessories yeah. and switch on use Bluetooth allow now you go up again uh, and you have the time code display you can tap on it and now you choose <laughs> your tentacle that is recording. Do you know how, how it's called? Deity Olin. Deity Olin. How did you get the names? Those are such creative names. It's a like it's a random naming system that we have. They each each comes with a name. There we go, Deity yeah. Olin. You choose it, and now you go back, and you will see the the time code. Go back to the camera. Now it's the same time code as the recorder is running on. It's recorded no on the video. Way. All right, so now we got to test it. I'm guessing, how do, are we at 24 frames per second? Yeah. No way, so now we're rolling. If you I can, can see. the camera. Whoa, now I have two angles. <laughs> now, 2024, tentacle sync. All right, look at that, amazing. <laughs> That's incredible, thank you so much. Now we can import it into the sync studio and show how that works. Okay, let's do it. Maybe you can upload when you go to media, you share it. Airdrop? Is yeah. that you? Oh, there, try again. Ah, okay. Whoa. Wham. Whoa. And it's working. It's good. Nice. <laughs> and should we import this file as well and your audio file and then we show it with your phone? Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so here we are with Yule. Hi. <laughs> now I'm going to show you our software, the Tentacle Sync Studio. It's very easy and convenient to use. Um, you can download it from our website and you can get a trial version 14 days for free. And any Tentacle Syncies, Trackies, the time bar can generate a license key that you can activate on two different computers. So you can give it to friends and they can activate it, work with it, and deactivate it again. So now we have copied all the files from this camera, from the iPhone, and from the Track E into one daily folder. That is always very helpful to keep the uh, files separate from day to day because time code is limited to 24 hours. If you have all your files copied in one folder, you just drag, uh, this is the folder, you just drag and drop it into our software <laughs> and you click on sync map and now you can see here uh, what you can see is the recorder had been running for a long time and here we have the two camera angles right so this is camera one where we are explaining and now you choose your <laughs> from the main camera the Sony this moment, let me zoom in. Here we have started See. the iPhone recording. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> you would have to turn it around in the editing software. But the sound is in sync. It's like the same sound. Yeah, 2024. Yeah, okay. 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 Okay
And this timeline you can export as an XML either for Premiere Pro or Final Cut or we have the option to have an AAF for the Avid Media Composer. Incredible. In, in Resolve, for example, you can just import the files. They contain the, um, in the metadata, there's the file TC recorded as well for our track E. It does the same and you can synchronize based on time code. It's very easy and convenient to use. Amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Yule. Okay, so I could, I could have four audio clips here. Yeah. And four video clips, and they can all sync at the same time. I can show you. We have some other test footage. Ah, that's years ago. Uh, some some of my colleagues went to Red Rock, and you can just drag and drop it as well. And here you have really a lot of uh, different camera angle, like three cameras running running on the same at the same time, together with two audio recorders. And technically, this is unlimited. You can add as many um, track E's or as, as you need for your purpose. Um, you can export this timeline and open it in the editing system. And in case, for example, you have very many track E's and you want to combine it into a polywav file, because that's, sometimes it's easier to handle it in editing if you don't have like so many tracks, right, that can get confusing. We have the option to export um, a WAV file. Here it says clips should originate from a track E recorder. So if you ha want to combine multiple track E's into one file, you can do it with the help of our software. Just import the audio clip and you export the poly WAV file. So you can sync multiple video clips with one audio clip? That's possible, but you can also think like one video clip with multiple audio clips or multiple video clips with multiple audio clips. If they have time code. But that's what the time code is for. Oh, incredible. Oh. So many possibilities. This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Welcome.